Hi there, this is the first of two videos associated with showing you how to develop your first Joomla module. And in particular, it's accompanying on this page here, Joomla Development Portal, this little tutorial creating a simple module for Joomla. So we'll first look at the prerequisites and you need to obviously have Joomla on your computer and you need to have some sort of a, a thing like WAMP server or XAMP server. Um, I'm on Windows, so I've got WAMP server, but uh, this will work just as well with XAMP server. Now, if we look at, first of all, what is a module? And here's my Joomla instance. I've just got a pretty clean uh, version of Joomla 3914. I've just um, included the standard uh, data with it or standard configuration. And if you look at the portal development page there, it talks about four types of extension development and the component is the first and the component is the thing which generates the main thing on the page. And um, in this case, it's just putting out some articles. The next thing, uh, leave plugins for a moment and we'll look at modules. Modules are the things round the edge of the page. So for example, this thing here down the right hand side is a module, um, as is this other little menu here, as is the login form. Um, you might call them widgets, but they can be displayed on multiple pages, the same thing displayed on multiple pages. If we go to plugins, back to plugins, plugins kind of sit behind the scenes. So plugins um, get triggered by various events. It could be, for example, the component having the text ready to display on the page. Uh, and that would, it would then generate a, a trigger an event, which a plugin could pick up. It can get the data uh, representing that text. It can change it then and send it back so that you get um, the data displayed on the on the page modified by the plugin. It might be, for example, um, uh, you know, some data that's getting written to the database. A plugin can intervene and uh, change some of that data as well. So plugins kind of sit behind the scenes. And the fourth type of development is a template. And the template is really, really what pulls it all together. So it pulls together the um, component output, the uh, module output, and it then prepares the web page together with all the presentation aspects, CSS and everything um, for actually displaying to the user. So those are the four types of um, uh, kind of components or sorry uh, extensions that you can develop so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to write a very minimal module and we're going to take uh, this one that's written here and we're going to actually even make it more simple so what we do is I've got my file system over here I've just got a place where I can uh, kind of develop a module and I'm going to create a subdirectory under this modules folder and I'm going to call it mod underscore hello world and it's in that folder that I'm going to put a couple of files and the first file I'm going to put in is the manifest file and this basically uh, tells the installer the Joomlet installer what uh, files there are for example uh, to be included uh, I'm going to make it a bit simpler so I'm going to take that out I'm going to take a lot of these out and I'm going to take this out as well and then I'm going to save it and I'm going to save it into that folder, uh, which is in downloads, modules, and mod hello world. And one of the things you find with Joomla development is you have to be very exact with the file names. So you have to get the file names exactly right or things won't work. So this one has to be called mod hello world.xml. And if we look, we've got a module there, the type of the extensions module, you could have component, for example, the version of Joomla, 
um, it needs at least 3.1. The fact that it's a module for the site uh, rather than the administrator side of things, you can develop modules for the administrator as well and how you upgrade it. And we've basically got a name and a description and it's saying that the file name to include is this one. This is where our source is going to be. So down here somewhere we have a polyworld.php and we're going to take that and take it over again to notepad plus plus again i'm going to simplify it a lot i'm going to take out and all i'm going to do is put an echo statement and i'll include that in an h3 tag and again we have to make sure that the file name is right Okay, so this is our basic module. Um, not really a lot to it, but um, really quite easy to understand. The next thing we do have to do is install it. So we go back here and we zip up our directory uh, to create mod hello world.zip. And that is the file that we're going to install in the usual way. Hello world does it. Okay, so you can see it's installed there. If I go to extensions modules, we should see it as uh, one of the listed modules. And there it is. I've got a kind of like a search condition on there. However, if we go here, we're not going to actually see anything just yet. There are three things that we have to do to make it visible. So we go back here and edit it. And the first of the three things is we have to set its status to published. The second is that we have to assign which pages it goes on. And I'm going to set this on all pages. And the third is we have to dis, uh, define where it goes. And we use this position. Now there's lots of positions here. There's B's three and lots of positions, protostar and lots of positions. What does this actually mean? Um, well, what it means is if we go to our templates, if you do extensions templates, you'll see what um, templates. Now I've got B's and protostar in particular is the default. And I know that this is being displayed with protostar. So you're going to have different um, positions to display a module for the different templates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the protostar template and uh, define one of the positions there. Now, how do you find out where those positions are? Well, if you do something like TP equals one, uh, TP probably stands for template uh, positions and um, this will show you where the template positions are for the template that is actually displaying this page now it's not doing it just yet and the reason it isn't is we have to go to the global configuration and we need to set an option down in our templates here we need to set this option here, preview module positions to enabled. I will save and close that. Then when we go back to our home page and we click on this, you'll see all of the various positions that this template supports. And I'm going to choose this one, position seven. So I go back to here and just select position seven from Protostar. There it is on the right. And I'll save and close that. And then I'll go back here and I'll take off that TP. And I'll just refresh the home page. And here's our little module. And you can see Hello World is actually the name of it. And if we go to the options there, we'll see that it's got an option which is show titles. So it's showing the title, which is Hello World. And the second thing it's displaying is I am here, which is just the text that we put into our little code here.
So that's all there is to it. Um, and in the second video, we'll take this a little bit further. But thanks for watching. Bye for now.